Hello everyone. On this blog, we'll talk about combining multiple digital models into a single building scene layer. As a GIS analyst supporting a maintenance team, I need to create a single source of the building to share with the facility managers and the event teams. But before we start, let's state our assumptions. The models share the same location on the base point. This only applies to Rabbit. And the models were already your reference. So before we start our workflow, let's talk a little bit about the tips and tricks. We can leverage the universal projection. This allows us to reduce the number of files and steps needed to reference the additional files that represent the structure. Pro upgrades the Rabbit file in memory to the most current version supported by ArcGIS Pro without upgrading the file itself. So for example, if you're using Pro 3.0, all Rabbit files will be upgraded to Rabbit 22 in memory. To reduce the time of upgrading the file in memory, you can use the upgrade process, but you have to be careful. My recommendations will be make a copy of the file before upgrading and never, never, and I emphasize, never upgrade files that are used by other teams. Okay, so now let's inspect the file version and if we need to upgrade, we'll go through the upgrade process. So we'll look for the folder where I have the raw files. In this case, I have two. Let's go and check the first one, right click properties. We're gonna go and navigate to the file property sheet for the model. This is gonna take a few seconds and we're gonna go and look for the file version. In this case, it's 2018 and we're using ArcGIS Pro 3. So what we're gonna do now is upgrade the file. We're gonna click on the general and we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we found this icon, upgrade to the latest supported version. And we're gonna click on it. Here we can see the toast notification that it tells us that the file has been upgraded to the most current, the latest version that ArcGIS Pro supports. And we go to the model page again, and now telling us to the most current version that ArcGIS supports. This will make loading this file faster in ArcGIS Pro because it doesn't have to be upgraded in memory. Let's start. Create a single data set from multiple digital models. In our case, our project is composed of 43 digital models, as you can see here. So let's search for first GP tool. I already have it on my favorites, or in the recent, in this case, being filed to your database. So we click on it. So let's start. We selected all the files and click OK. This is going to take a long time because we have 47 files. Some of them are small, other ones are significantly big. And we click OK. Now that all the files are loaded in the BIM file to GeoDatabase GP tool, so we can see here, we assign the data set, add the identifier. In this case, we don't need, I'm going to skip the identifier, and we just hit run. Now that the tool is finished, we can see that the data set was created and all the featured classes were created inside the data set. So the next step is to create the building layer. Go to the job processes in tools and we look for the make building layer. We input the data set, the output layer name, and we hit run. Now that we have the data set structure converted into a building layer, the next step is to create a building scene layer content. Now we'll search for the building scene layer content. In this case, I have picked the texture optimization for all. If you want more information, you can go and look at the help. Um, on the blog, there's a link to the help. And just hit run. Now that the building scene layer package has been created, we can now move to visualizing it in our chest Pro. Now we can see the full model. We can turn off mechanical electrical piping and the structural. Our final step is to upload the building scene layer package to ArcGIS Online. As you can see, a scene has been created with the scene layer package that we just uploaded. To facilitate the visualization of this complex model, I have created some bookmarks. And we're done. Thank you.